Welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the DeVita World Headquarters building. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about the quality assurance services provided by Pi Consulting and Engineering. Just a little background on the building. The DeVita World Headquarters was recently moved from California to the city of Denver, Colorado. The headquarters building is located in downtown Denver between Pepsi Cent the Pepsi Center and Coors Field. Just a couple of quick facts about the building. The owner, obviously, is DeVita Incorporated. The architect of record is MOA Architecture, and the general contractor is Saunders Construction. Saunders Construction retained Pi Consulting Engineering to provide on-site quality assurance consulting and observations of the curtain wall systems, fluidified weather barrier, parapet soffit to curtain wall tie-ins, and the metal composite material panels. Material, the building, as you can see, costs approximately $90 million in construction costs and is approximately 14 stories high. Pi's role, as I previously stated, was primarily to look at the curtain wall systems at the building, of which there are four, type A, type B, type C, and type D. The curtain walls varied in terms of construction and use, being unitized systems, interior glaze systems, punched out windows, and glass wall systems. Pi was retained and performed observations as well as consultations on all the various systems. Pi also observed and made recommendations in regards to the fluid applied weather barrier and how that weather barrier would tie into the curtain wall systems. While on site, Pi also made observations and provided recommendations for the metal composite material panels. Pi oversaw, made recommendations, and consultation on a number of difficult details where a variety of roof systems came together. The lower right hand corner you'll see a roofing system as well as the curtain wall system and the parapets coming into one location. As you can imagine, this made waterproofing and making a watertight system very difficult to do. Pi also, while on site, performed a limited number of AMA 501.2 testing to verify that the systems built didn't, were in fact water and airtight. Along with the 501.2 testing, Pi observed a number of E1105 tests performed by others to make sure that the tests were done correctly and that there was no signs of water intrusion at the interior. To do this or complete this, Pi utilized an infrared camera with its infrared training and infrared, infrared certified personnel to make sure that we did not see water at the interior where the interior conditions had been covered by drywall. That's it. That's a quick summary of what Pi did. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you want more information, please visit, Pi, please visit Pi's website at any time. Thank you.